Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on Frame 316 Media. So if you're new in this channel, we are doing a lot of video content that aims to help you tell better stories. So you can find tutorials about managing your brands on YouTube. You can uh, see a lot of um, video marketing content tutorials and sessions on this channel. So uh, hit the subscribe button and um, the notification bell so you wouldn't miss out on videos like this. And today, I want to talk about something that I always encounter, um, whether it's a commission project or it's a project that my friends would ask me to do. So I want to talk about vertical video. So how do you fix a vertical video when you need to edit it? along with those standard um, HD or full HD video. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how it's done in today's video. So basically, the principle is the same whether you're using um, iMovie, Movie Maker, or Filmora, Premiere Pro, or DaVinci. As long as the software you're using involves layers, you know, stuck on top of each other, you will use the same principle that I'm about to show you. So I'm a heavy Premiere Pro user and After Effects user, so you see a lot of that content in my channel here. But I want to show you how it's done on Premiere Pro, but you just have to take note of the techniques you know uh, what type of effects that you need to use or what are the principles that you need to apply to make your vertical videos blend well with your horizontal or your HD uh, full HD size of video okay jumping in on Premiere Pro again you can do this whatever uh, software you're using I'm gonna show you uh, three ways how you can make your vertical videos blend well on your um, overall video projects. I want to show you, I have three different videos here. I'm just going to open this up so you can see. So, you know, I just downloaded this on Pexels. You can go to pexels.com for your uh, free video clip. So this is our vertical video. And I have a third video here because I just wanted to show you how it blends well together. And I have a graphic here. I'm going to talk about this because this is the last uh, technique that I'm going to be showing you. This is a bit advanced, but you can try this using the resources that I'm going to be sharing with you in a while. So the first thing that you need to do every time you're working on a video is to create your project composition. So there's different ways on how to do that uh, depending on the software that you're using. So on Premiere Pro, if you are a Premiere Pro user, you just go quickly uh, here. You know and create your sequence and then define whatever sequence you want or for me usually what i would do is uh the, the fastest way to create is i'm going to select one of the video clips that i'm working on for example this first video clip here and i'm just going to drag this to that new icon there okay so what i did was just let me zoom this in so what i did was select the video and drag it here and then it would create the new sequence for me and as you notice the sequence name is derived from the name of the clip so you go ahead and just select the sequence that you have just created so you press the enter on your keyboard and then rename this let's call this our uh, vertical video project just very quickly now that i have my first video I want to show you how it looks like. Let's say I'm going to bring in, where's my vertical video here? This is my vertical video. I'm just going to just quickly drag this here and then drag the third video. And then when you look at my timeline right now, so once I play this three clips together in my sequence, you would notice that once it hits the, okay, let me just hide my guide because I'm working on a current project now. So this is my vertical video. So if I go to FX control, what you need to do is usually uh, you would try to scale that, you know, the whole vertical video thing to fit the height of your video. So this is going to be problematic because you're going to be having this black bar on the left side and on the right side. Okay. So when I play this, 
you know, it kind of gives you the feeling that there's a gap and that like this video doesn't really fit in there. So this usually happens when, you know, clients would, you know, send you videos that they did themselves, especially now it's uh, the pandemic. A lot of clients are trying to do their own videos and just ask you to edit it. So um, depends if you like this, but not, I um, mean, overall in general, this does not look good. So if I play this and then it jumps to the next thing. So this one is smaller. So I'm just going to fit this into my frame like that. So we have the first clip as a landscape. Then portrait or vertical, and then back to landscape. So now I want to focus on this middle uh, video here. So what can you do to make this really blend together with the other uh, video clips? So usually what I would do is I would duplicate this. Okay, in Premiere Pro, I'm pressing the option um, while dragging. So I'm making a copy. So right now you would notice I already have two copies here of the same video clip. So these are the same video clips. So what I'm going to be doing is the video on the bottom. Okay, What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to blow this up. Make this really big. You know, just to give a sense that this is the same video that we're looking at. You know, try to position it in a way that makes it look interesting. Now, here's the trick, a very simple trick that I would uh, often use. I'm going to go to effects. Depends on what software you're using. When I go to effects on my Premiere Pro and I just search for Gaussian Blur. Yes. Is there a Gaussian Blur here? Yep, there's it. Gaussian Blur. So I'm going to apply the Gaussian Blur at the bottom video. And I'm just going to blow this up. So once we play this, okay. so it gives you the idea that you are still looking at the same a uh, video clip underneath. So this is one technique that you can use so that you can avoid the left bar and the black bar like it would look like this if you don't have the clip underneath. So the other technique that I would be using is I brought in another stock photo here. This time this is just an image. So instead of using the video as my background, let me just uh, bring this here and create a copy beside it. So instead of using the same video as the background, what I would be doing is I'm going to be using this graphic here as my background image because the goal is to avoid this annoying black <laughs> and on the left and on the right. So same thing with the video because that will be too distracting uh, what I would do is I would usually I would either drop down my opacity, make it a bit darker. So, you, you know, you, it gives you that, you know, contrast gives you that idea uh, that there's uh, something underneath this uh, vertical video clip. So it looks better when you're, you know, playing it. And, you know, it doesn't give you that, that gap. Or if you don't want the opacity, the same thing is uh, you go wherever your effect is, then add another uh, Gaussian blur. So the idea is to make the, you know, to, to come up with something uh, underneath that vertical video so that you wouldn't have that black bar on the left and on the right. Let me just drop down our playback resolution for a bit. Okay, like this. Okay, so What's the third technique? So this is a bit of the advanced technique here. So I'm just going to duplicate this. Let's say I'm using the same background, right? Because I still need something on the background. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be removing my Gaussian blur and I'm just going to drop down the opacity a bit halfway. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be selecting my top clip which is this is our vertical don't forget this is our vertical video i'm selecting it right now so i'm just gonna scale this down a bit and i'm gonna bring in this photoshop file so this is a template that i've downloaded online so basically this is a template of a smartphone so i think you're getting the idea so i want to use this graphic 
you know, to make my video look interesting. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting the Photoshop file on top of my clip. So as you can see, this looks a bit big. So the next thing that you need to do is resize it. Again, I'm going to my effects control in Premiere Pro. This is where you do all the basic, you know, changes on your attributes. So we're just talking about scale. Okay. So I'm adjusting the scale, just bringing it, you know, in a way that it looks like I have a phone uh, somewhere in the middle of the screen. And now I need to make the scale adjustment for my video clip okay right so now the problem here is that i have uh you know the video clip is not the same size so what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna blow this up like this and i'm gonna get a very uh, handy effect on a premiere pro it's called crop so when i add the crop to that vertical video I just adjust the left like this and the right and the bottom and the top. So, you know, you can try to figure out how to fix that, uh, you know, in Photoshop if you are doing Photoshop because I'm quite sure if you get a hold of a template like this, you understand Photoshop. So, this is not a Photoshop video. So, once I play this, there, I have a smartphone video on top of a graphic, you know, that's still relevant. So if I'm going to look at our old video, the original one, this is what we're really trying to fix. Okay, so we were able to fix this black bar on the left and on the right. Again, the first trick, duplicate the video underneath or duplicate the video underneath and blur it or add a stock photo and blur it or add a graphic you know that would be serve as a container of your vertical video okay that was a very quick video for you today my name is robert and i hope you check around the channel and see um, very helpful content for you with regards to video content marketing with regards to youtube and uh, everything that involves storytelling for your brand so thank you for watching and see you in my next videos